Beach PD are taking down the license plate so they can get in touch with the driver, uh, hopefully get them some information on where their car will be taken to. And now let's come back around this. They will show you the waters that have been causing the headache for many drivers coming through. Again, this is on North Seagate Boulevard, just east of 95. There's still one abandoned car over to the side of the road, as well as this driver who stopped right here on the road because they knew it was just too dangerous to continue on. We've seen a lot of cars stop, turn around. Some larger vehicles like tractor trailers, they've been able to drive through the waters. In fact, tractor trailers were being diverted down this street because 95, both the north and south uh, lanes, have been closed since midnight now. This is going on over six hours at this point. The good news is the rain has quit for the time being here in Boynton Beach. And when we first arrived, the water was right at the front of the the tires for this white car, the water is now back quite a ways. So it seems that right now the waters are receding just a little bit. But again, if you are on the roads this morning and you see any standing water, do not attempt to drive through it. Just caution, use the error on the side of caution and, and keep your car from getting stuck. Reporting live in Boynton Beach this morning, Stephanie Brzezinski, WPBF 25 News. Stephanie, thank you. And on the point about I-95, I just want to mm -hmm. clear something up real quick. It's being diverted basically southbound between High Paluxo at I-95 all the way to Boynton Beach uh, at I-95. So traffic is being diverted on the southbound lanes that are closed. Traffic's being diverted at uh, High Paluxo westbound. And then on the northbound side, I-95, traffic is being diverted at Boynton Beach Westbound. So between those two exits, yeah. I-95 is shut down. Basically, you want to avoid I-95 in the Boynton Beach area exactly. this morning. Head towards the Turnpike or try using some of those side streets. Now that it appears that um, that rain is going to start to kind of die off a little bit. We, and yeah, and I just want to. We just got an update. My producer is telling me that I-95 northbound has been reopened. That just happened within the last few moments. Okay. So it's still going to be slow going, though, on yeah. I-95 in both directions. I determine if a tornado did, in fact, touch down in one community there. Take a look. This is the Woodbridge Mobile Village. 30 homes in all were damaged there. Several had their roofs ripped off, as you can see. The storm came through just after 6 o'clock last night. Residents told us that it had been raining and the wind had been blowing. But then all of a sudden, the storm intensified, and it was something that they had never seen before. Listen to this. I heard this train coming at us, you know. I lifted up my trailer a little bit, and that's what I ran into the bathroom. I thought, well, maybe, maybe this is it. <laughs> maybe I'll be up in heaven shortly. Wow. Well, the good news in all of this, and including this morning, we have no reports of any injuries so far. Well, the Treasure Coast is also dealing with widespread flooding this morning. In some areas saw more than 10 inches of rain overnight, even more than that. The flooding has poured into homes and businesses in Fort Pierce. One resident was warned to stay out of her house, but she took a chance, and her car ended up getting stuck in the floodwaters when she finally got out of the water and into her home. Her living room, as you can see here, looked like a swimming pool. The water actually reached it, my time. And you're standing in water right now? Yes, I'm standing in water as we speak now. now. She told us that her home has flooded before, but never like this. The rain has died down there, but now everything that she owns is sitting in water, unfortunately, this morning. That's a story oh. that a lot of people have. Yeah. Just in, we have brand new sound from someone dealing with the flooding in Boynton Beach. Take a listen. House and don't move it. If you go through here, you ruin your car. You don't want to speed up your engine and you can't move and go nowhere. So if I were them, I would just leave it there and don't move. Walk out and get a cab or something. Good advice. It only takes, what, one foot? Yeah. And it's hard to tell the depth because the sun hasn't come up quite yet. And so. And even you know, when the sun's up, you still don't know sometimes yeah. how deep you know the water is. Well, flooded streets have forced schools across the area to cancel classes today. Here it is. All public schools in both Palm Beach and St. Lucie counties are closed as of this morning. And as of right now, all public schools in Martin, Okeechobee, and Indian River County, those are open. There are also some private schools that are going to be closed today. For a full list of those, you can head to our website. We've got the complete updated list on WPBF.com.